I'm here with my little girl. She just told me she had a dream of, of Jesus, so I just started recording it. Okay, Scott, start from the top. What did you dream? Me and my friends were somewhere, and we were playing with Jesus. What did the, what did, what did it look like? Did, what did the environment look like? What's an environment? Environment is like, like how did the, was you in the grass or, you know, what did it, yeah. I was I you outside? I don't know, because the um, background was just pure white. Oh, it was pure white, wow. Even on the ground. Oh, wow. So what do you and Jesus play? It was, um, it was playing, going around the bush. Going around a bush? How did Jesus play with you? He was like this. You gotta explain it because they can't see what you're doing. He was like, what? Can you just explain what you're saying? He was, um, just like us. Like opening your, um, opening his, his hands. And, um... Uh, like oh, holding his arms out is what you're trying to say. So, was what did he look like? I didn't see his face. It was too bright. Too bright. What was he wearing? I didn't see his clothes. He was too bright. He was too bright. <laughs> Just too bright. Too bright. That's interesting because you've seen him before, but this time he was too bright though. It's you have seen him before, right? Yeah, I know. This time it was too bright. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, what? Did you have a good time? You love Jesus? Say, you gotta answer me. They can't hear you. Did you have a good time? Mm-hmm. And do you love Jesus? Mm-hmm. Okay. So after I left to um, drop off my daughter to school, she told me that what he was teaching her was some kind of game called Mulberry Bush. And you guys, I'm 41 years old, so I never heard of this in my life. And she also told me that um, she did not know how to play this game at all. That her friends knew how to play it, but she didn't know how to play it. And then um, Jesus Christ taught her how to play it, but he didn't speak to her. He just kind of motioned what to do. And I still don't know. So anyway, um, I have to say this. I went to sleep that night that she had this dream, crying my eyes out, just bawling. And um, because I have someone, <laughs> my ex is uh, taking me to court. And I was, you know, really crying out to God and just asking him because I have no lawyer. And, you know, he claims that he's, he's threatened me five million times. How many people he's going to hell from all over the country to come against me and oh it's just a mess so I'm I've been begging God to speak to me and tell me something and I said I said that night I said God if you don't give me the dream give it to my kids and so um you know I'm just crying and bawling like God please so then my daughter had this dream that night that I went to sleep crying and um so, you know, I came from dropping her off at school, and I started crying And when I got home because I was so hurt. I was like, God, I'm begging for you to give me some knowledge into my situation. And you give her a dream of playing the mulberry bush, and I'm just crying about it. But I said, I said, um, you know, I'm not going to be covetous of what you gave her. And I said, um, you know, I know you love us all, Lord, and, and that's what she needed. And I said, that's between her relationship with you, but can you please give me some insight on, you know, what it is that you you want me to, to do? What is, how is this courtroom, how is this going to go for me? You know, it's like David and Goliath, you know, I got just myself and no witnesses or nothing. And, you know, he's got five million people that... <laughs> That don't love, I don't know if any of them love the Lord and they're probably willing to lie on me and everything else. So I'm just like, God, what am I supposed to do here? And then on top of that, I had um, a friend who told me she had a dream that he that I was going to go back to court and, I, and everybody was coming against me based on my Christianity. And he has threatened to a lot. Um, he's threatened because he said I had my daughter fasting and 
you know, a lot of it has to do with my faith. I, and, and she dreamed this way before he sued me, like two months before I got served papers. So um, I'm like, God, you know, I'm like desperate, like, okay, what's with this dream she had? So anyway, I was really sad about it because this dream she had was a couple of days ago. I recorded it as soon as she had it, but I wasn't going to post it until what happened. I told my friend about it, um, and she has a, a channel, and I may murder her name, so forgive me, but she's featured on my page. Her name is Tarina. Uh, I'm probably not saying it right. Anyway, I told her about it, and, um, you know, she just listened and everything, and I got off the phone, and I was going to sleep. I went to sleep early, like 8 o'clock, and once again, I'm all emotional, crying out to God, but this time I wasn't shedding tears, and I'm just like, God, please, please. And I was begging him this whole time. I said, God, please do me like you did Jacob when he had to go against Esau. And you turned Esau's heart um, before Jacob even got to him. And by the time Jacob got to him, everything was good. I said, go before me, God. Go before me in this battle. Please, God, help me, help me, help me. And she called me, and I don't even know what time she called me because um, I, I went to sleep real early. And she, she was like, I got, um, she, was, she was telling me the Holy Ghost had her look up into, my, into my daughter's dream. And she was saying that dream is about, it's a message for me. And I was like, how is that a message for me? And let me say this too, because I almost forgot. This, well, I, I said afterwards, but I got to remember something else. But anyway, I said, how is it a message for me? She said, I looked up Mulberry Bush in the Bible. And I'm like, that's in the Bible? So she sent me all these scriptures. One of them is in 2 Samuel 5 and 24. And let it be when thou hearest the sound of a going in the tops of the mulberry trees, that then thou shalt bestir thyself. For then shall the Lord go out before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. And she gave me 1 Chronicles 14, 15. And it shall be when thou shalt hear a sound of going in the tops of the mulberry trees, that then thou shalt go out to battle, for God is gone forth before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. In Second Samuel uh, 5 and 23, And when David inquired of the Lord, he said, Thou shalt not go up, but fetch a compass behind them, and come upon them over against the mulberry trees in Luke 17 and 6 and the Lord said if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed ye might say unto this sycamine tree be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted in the sea and it shall and it should obey you I was in shock because that was exactly what I was praying for I was praying that God would go before me and he was answering my prayer like I, I prayed I said give any of us the dream he gave it to my daughter knowing that I was going to talk to my friend and she was going to explain this dream to me. So I was in complete, complete shock. And I, I just cried and cried. And I was like, oh, God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and I was like, you know, my friend Sharina, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was just so happy. And I'm, I'm murdering her name because, um, you know, she goes by a different name. And this name I can't pronounce too well. But anyway, um... I also wanted to say that this dream had two points to it because my daughter um, at one day she had went to school and nobody would play with her and she was really really sad and I said um, you know but she has a lot of friends um, now she has no issues but she had a day where she was really really sad and I said um, you know just imagine that Jesus is playing with you and, and this it's okay he's with you at all times so this dream was Jesus gave it to her because he's showing her, you know, she's with her friends, but he's like, I'm there with you. I'm, you can't, you can't um, see me because she couldn't see his face because it was all bright. And you can't hear me because he didn't talk to her, but he was still playing with her and she's letting her know that. And then he's also answering me in terms of this court battle. And I'm just like, oh, thank you, God. Thank you so much. So I'm standing on faith and... um I ask you guys to please say a prayer to uh, um, for me in this situation. Um, definitely, it is concerning my my child. So, um, you know, please pray for me. It's, it's something that's really been on my heart and mind. And God is constantly giving me messages for the church and constantly teaching me about demons and 
You know, um, I thank God that I, I finally got a word for the situation that I'm going through because everything else has been for the church. And I just, oh, I thank God. But anyway, also, you know, check out my friend's channel. Um, like I said, she's featured on my, my page, and she's awesome. She, um, you know, you can learn a lot from her as well. Uh, God bless you all. Stay encouraged. God has us, you know. Sometimes we don't see him, you know, and, and especially now we've been getting weary. A, a lot of Christians have been getting weary, but stay on the battlefield, you know. And I want to say this, too, because this is very important. Um, a lot of the witches and warlocks have really been coming at us since Trump has been in office, and this is all by design. You have to know that. These people that's been coming against you, um, coming against us, that make videos, calling us all kind of names, a lot of these people are not regular people. They are witches and warlocks, a lot of them. And they have secretly been waiting. They sucked us a long time ago, waiting for this moment to... Um, to bash us and try to throw us off course and get us to stop making videos and get us to, you know, not believe in God and blah, blah, blah. It's all by design by Satan to knock us off our game. So do not listen to them. Do not um, second guess the things that God told you.